Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about types of roots. Types of roots? Yes, the types of roots. We know that the roots can perform different types of functions. But there are different types of roots also. See that the whole world it is occupied by the different number of plants. There are so many variations in the plant. So that variations are also observed in the roots also. That's why today we are going to discuss about the types of roots. In this topic, we are going to discuss about what are roots, what are the functions of roots and what are the different types of roots. So first we see what are the roots. So everyone we know that roots are the underground part of the plant. Basically these roots they are present inside the soil. And most of the vascular plants they show presence of roots. These roots they are responsible to absorb the nutrients, to absorb the water from the soil and the absorbed nutrition. The function of root is that absorbed nutrient it also transport to the stem region, leaf region. So these roots are most important parts of the plant. Without roots, the plant cannot stand on the ground. Along with that, there are some roots which perform the function to store the food. For example, sweet potato, beetroot. So they are called as an storage roots which store the nutrition. So see that what are the roots? So roots are basically the underground parts of the plant. Basically they present below the surface of soil. Okay. Then see that what are the different types of roots are there? See that. See this one. This is a tree. This tree shows. This tree can withstand on the surface of ground. But if you observe here the roots. The roots are deeply penetrating inside the soil. The roots are underground here. So that type of roots. We call it as an positively geotropic. See that those roots which can penetrate inside the soil. And they grow inside the soil more and more. That type of roots we call it as an underground roots. As well as these underground roots are called as an positively geotropic. Then if you observe some of the orchidaceae family members. So you are able to see that see here the roots they get developed from the nodal region. And they are not present inside the soil. They are present on the stem region. So that type of roots we call it as an aerial roots. These aerial roots are also called as an negatively geotropic. Why they are negatively geotropic? Because they does not grow towards the earth. That's why they are called as an negatively geotropic. So these are the main two roots. See that the underground one and aerial roots one. Then we see what are the different types of functions which is performed by the roots. See that the roots can perform these different types of functions. Like to anchor and support, absorption, transport, storage. Photosynthesis, aeration, reproduction and the roots also have the ecological role to prevent the pollution. In what way the roots can 
perform their functions we are going to discuss in detail so let's see that see here that the first function of root is to give anchor and support so see that you are able to see the huge trees which are present on the ground so what 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 do you think that how this trees they can withstand like this one so see that as the trees are very huge but see here the roots they get deeply penetrate inside the soil that's why these roots can give strength to that plant to withstand during the bad environmental conditions so see that the roots perform very important fun function to support the plant okay that's why many plants they can stand erect for thousands of years okay because the roots are very deep and they are deeply penetrate inside the soil so this is the most important function of the root that is to provide the physical support to the plant then next we see what is the next function see that absorption and conduction so see that as the roots they get penetrate inside the soil the soil it is rich in nutrition okay so whatever the nutrition which is present in the soil it is absorbed by the that roots and this absorb nutrition they provide towards the nodal region towards the leaf region so the roots perform very important function of absorption and conduction okay see that we can provide the nutrition we can provide the fertilizers to the plant if the roots are unable to absorb that one there is no any importance to use the organic fertilizers okay that's why the main function of the root is what to absorb whatever the nutrition present inside the water as well as inside the soil okay so this is the second function of the roots that is absorption and conduction then the third function which is performed by the roots is the roots cannot only accumulate or cannot only absorb the nutrition okay for itself but the absorbed nutrition that roots provide towards the nodal region okay towards the stem region the stem region can provide the nutrition towards the leaf region and the leaf regions they can provide the nutrition towards the developing inflorescence okay so this is a type of transport okay so without the roots the transport is not possible okay so the roots perform very important function to transport the nutrition mineral and water towards the developing plant okay then the next function which is performed by the roots is storage so see that there are various types of roots which are which acting as an storage roots so see that the there is a de, depending upon the type of shape the roots are going to divide into four types that is the conical roots fusiform roots napiform type of roots and tuberous roots so see that all these four types of roots they act as an storage root why because they stores lots of water as well as lots of carbohydrates in them that's why due to the function of storage these roots are called as storage roots then the next function is photosynthesis now you can think that how the roots are performing the photosynthesis function yes because roots are underground and how they are going to perform the photosynthesis because for the photosynthesis we require the chlorophyll pigments and they are absent in the roots so see that 
as we have studied in earlier slide that is there are main two types of route that is underground and aerial one so see here this is one of the example of mangrove plant this is the example of orchid plant and if you neatly observe here you are able to see the roots are going to develop from the upper region of the plant so that type of roots we call it as an epiphytic roots okay means those roots which are dependent upon the other plants which are grow on the other plants basically they perform the function of aeration okay they perform the function of aeration these roots we call it as an aerial roots and these aerial roots perform the function of photosynthesis then the next one that is aeration so once again take an example of mangrove plants so this mangrove plants they are going to produce some special type of roots and that special type of roots see here that special types of roots that we call it as a nematophores so what is the function of that nematophores the nematophores diffuse the oxygen from air that's why these roots perf perform the function of aeration and provides air to the developing tree species okay that's why the roots also perform the function of aeration then next one see that there are some specialized roots also which can perform the function of reproduction okay there are some specialized roots see here if you observe here the strawberry you are able to see here that there is offset type of reproduction and why it is possible due to the presence of that specialized roots okay so that we call it as an offset shoots okay which are growing around the trunk basically uh, they get profuse from the roots okay and they grows horizontally okay and helps in the process of reproduction secondly you can take an example of zinzibar officinalis so here also the roots can perform the function of reproduction okay it is a type of vegetative reproduction okay then next one see that if you observe here the roots how deeply they are penetrating inside the soil and if you observe here see here the soil is going to attach to that roots so what happened here due to the deep penetration of roots the roots get attached to the soil that's why the roots perform very important function they play very important ecological role to prevent the soil erosion okay to prevent the soil erosion so this is one of the ecological role which is played by the roots okay so here we are observing that what are the different roles which is performed by the roots now we are moving towards the types of roots so see that mostly the angiospermic plants they are going to divide into monocot and dicot so according to monocot and dicot the root system is also different one in monocot plants and in dicot plants so see that in the monocot roots the main root is absent okay only the secondary growth of the roots is present there only there is a lateral growth of roots for example take an example of maize take the example of jowar okay so all that plants they are the monocot plants and if you observe their roots so main root is absent there only the secondary growth is present then the second type of roots that is the dicot roots so those plants which are dicot one they show presence of main root and main root is laterally divided or it shows presence of lateral branching and root hairs so this is observed in dicot roots just we see the figures 
see that the first one that is the fibrous roots so see that as i have told you that the monocot plant does not show presence of main root so see here these are the fibrous roots and if you are going to observe here the main root is absent only the lateral growth of the root is present so it gives the cluster like appearance of the roots okay and that type of fibrous roots they are present in the mono okay so see that this fibrous roots they are cylinder one they show presence of high branching and the primary root it is replaced by the adventitious roots see here only the roots uh, branches are present here roots hairs are present here and this fibrous roots they does not penetrate in the ground deeply okay this they does not penetrate in the soil deeply then see here the next type of roots that is the tap roots and see here what is the difference as we have seen that the fibrous roots they doesn't have the main root but if you observe this tap root they show presence of main root and then that main root it get bifurcated into lateral branches and root hairs okay so this tap roots are basically observed in dicot okay this tap roots they get developed from the embryo okay and these roots they are always present below the surface of soil okay these roots they grow in the acrobatical manner okay so this is the main difference in between the monocot and dicot root okay so see here in the tap roots the main root is present and it further bifurcate into lateral branches and root hairs then the next type of root that is the adventitious root and see here as i have told you in the earlier slide that the main root is absent in the monocots so see here this is the root of jawar plant you can take an example of sugarcane plant so if you are able to see the structure like that so what is that one these are the roots and this type of root we call it as an adventitious roots which are present in the monocot so see here basically the adventitious roots they are growing from their nodal internodal region okay basically in the tap root system roots mainly get developed from the embryo from the nodal region but here the adventitious roots they grow from the internodal region of the stem okay while the main root is absent so this type of root we call it as an adventitious root. then there is a next type of roots that we called it as an creeping roots so see here if you observe the image you are able to understand what is mean by creeping so see here this types of roots that does not penetrate deeply into the soil just they spread themselves on the surface of ground okay just they spread themselves okay horizontally so that type of roots which are not penetrating deeply into the soil but grows horizontally for a longer distance so that type of roots we call it as an creeping roots okay then the next type of root that is the tuberous roots so already we have studied this one so see that the turnip if you take example of carrot sweet potato beet root so all that type of roots we call it as an tuberous roots or you can tell them as an consider them as an storage roots you consider them as an storage roots okay so these types of roots are fleshy one enlarged one and these types of roots they are modified as a storage organ because they store lots of water and carbohydrates in them that's why these roots we call it as an tuberous roots and tuberous roots are nothing but the storage roots okay then 
the next type of roots that we call it as an water roots so see that we know that there are some plants which are aquatic one okay so in the aquatic plants how these plants can grow so see here this plants also show the presence of roots the roots which are present inside the water they also perform the similar function okay these roots they have the capability to allow the oxygen from atmosphere and they get diffuse them okay as well as the roots which are present in the water they perform the function of metabolism and growth okay they perform the function of absorption and whatever the nutrition it is conducted by the roots it get transported towards the upper part of the plant above the water okay so water roots are the roots which are present in the aquatic plants or those plants which are grow inside the water that plant roots we call it as a water roots okay then next one the next type of root that we call it as an parasite root so see here if you observe fuscuta okay so parasitic root means what these are the types of roots which are generally twinning one means they require that plant requires support from the another plant okay that's why this plant for example fuscuta they grow on the another hard plant okay and they form a coil structure around that plant as well as they absorb the nutrition from that main plant so that type of roots we call it as a parasitic roots okay so see here these roots they show presence of small hosturia and that the function of that hosturia is that to absorb the nutrition from the main plant okay means cascuta it is going to coil around the or it requires a support and that supporting plant we call it as an all the nutrition to the cascuta plant it will get its nutrition from that main plant so that type of roots we call it as an parasite groups then see here that we are going to observe the different types of roots like parasitic roots then tuberous roots water roots creeping roots adventitious roots tap root system so these are the different types of roots which are observed in different types of plant so if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you